Hey everyone, before I begin the video, I want to let everybody know that I do have a Discord community now. You can check out the link on the screen or in the description below. This is something I've been working on for quite a while and I really wanted to create a community where artists can improve and just discuss among themselves on techniques, art theory, and other stuff. But I do have off-topic channels that you can check out as well if you just want to socialize. Of course, no pressure, but I do want to let everybody know and everybody is welcome to join. Patrons do get special privileges that other members do not, so feel free to check out my Patreon as well. Anyways, let's move on to the video. Hey everyone, welcome to another YouTube painting process video. This time around I'll be painting Lucifer from Helltaker. Given the theme of what I am painting, I wanted to go over a topic that a lot of artists will inevitably deal with, and that is making money. We all hate to talk about it, and it's something that a lot of people kind of put on the side because art is such an amazing profession that uh, inspires a lot of people. So they don't really want to think about the monetary part of it, more so the passion part of it. But no matter what, if you're looking to be a professional, you have to be able to make some sort of income. You have to take it into sort of like you are making money so that you can continue your passion rather than have to spend time doing something else just to pursue your passions. This topic kind of came up once again because I had a really long talk with one of my longtime friends from college and it's fun to reminisce about the things in college and one of them was the fact that we were all really poor students where we were literally begging for groceries from other people and that sort of thing. In college, it was really hard for us to envision where we would be at years later in terms of making money with art. All we cared about in college was improving our work and ultimately that is the secret when it comes to making money. A lot of times when I talk with students now, they would really ask about money in some sort of fashion because obviously we are all, would all pay for college and the tuition is very heavy and you want to make it back. And that's something to consider whenever you are going into any sort of job, not just art. But when it comes to art, the stereotype is that money is just going to be impossible to find. And in retrospect, it was actually foolish of me to think that way because all I really had to do was improve to the point where people will start seeing value in your work. So having nights where I am worrying about money and that sort of thing wasn't really that conducive. I firmly believe that if you are just looking to improve and you continue to have the motivation to keep improving your work, then eventually you'll hit that point. There's no really going backwards when it comes to that sort of thing. Now some people will reach there faster than other people and that's completely fine. I'm one of those people who really didn't start making a lot of money until I hit my late 20s because I was pursuing a very specific profession that required quite a bit of skill. But there are definitely certainly a lot of jobs in the art market where it doesn't require of as much skill as others. And that's not to say I'm disparaging it. It's actually a great thing there are entry level type of jobs when it comes to art. So long as you can keep an objective eye when it comes to what the market wants and what you are trying to personally pursue, what motivates you to improve, 
eventually you'll hit the point where you become very um, financially valuable. So it's one of those things where you do want to keep money at the back of your head. Obviously, you don't want to just do art out of pure passion and then really put yourself in a vacuum with the rest of the world. But at the same time, you don't want to be stressed over it, which is, of course, it's really hard. I understand if you are a, a student in art school, it is extremely hard not to think about it when you are guzzling money to the school, paying for tuition and food and that sort of thing. But if I were to tell myself back in college from now, like time travel back in, then I would probably tell my former self to just not worry about it too much. Just look to be improving constantly and eventually something will work out. Now, of course, my path has gone through all sorts of different places. I've been a concept artist, I've been an animator, that sort of thing, now I'm an illustrator. So in terms of the, of the exact path, it could meander and it'll continue to change as I get older. So it's something that is a lifetime journey, of course. But no matter where, as long as you keep to your goal of becoming the best artist you can be, no matter what, eventually somebody will notice. And when somebody notices, then you'll start getting the gigs that you want. Now, I'm not here to tell you that it's as basic as what I just said. There's a lot of things going into it, sort of like what style you're going for, who you're catering to, that sort of thing. But that's really the general gist, the broader picture of what you should be aiming for. And ultimately, everybody has their own paths. Everybody has their own skill sets. It's sort of like any video game. Characters all have their unique traits of what they excel at and what they don't. So some people might be better at painting. Some people might be better at animation, naturally, right? So being able to find what you are good at it really takes you a long way because you'll naturally just gravitate towards that and eventually when you do something long enough you're just gonna get better at it. As a final note, try not to really compare yourself to other people. There's always going to be colleagues who are doing better than you and worse than you and it, I find that when you do that, especially when it comes to money, it can be really toxic and the all, of course, I will admit that there are some competitive people and I'm one of them when it comes to that. I need a bit of a competitive edge to motivate myself to keep improving. But you want to just try to sort of compete against yourself and don't really try to compare with other people because if you do, there's an endless amount of people that you will compare to and you'll just, no matter what, you're going to find people who are going to be doing better than you. And that will most likely make you feel worse. Work at your own pace and don't be too driven by how much other people are making when it comes to money. Just focus on yourself and see if you can improve yourself. And of course, eventually the money will come naturally. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed listening to this. I'll let you continue watching the rest of the process video. This one was a pretty cool painting that I did and it seemed like a lot of people liked it. So I, I, I chose to get the process video on YouTube here. Anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.